everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and you're probably wondering what is in this box. Well, we were lucky enough to go see the new Monster High movie, Welcome to Monster High, today at the theaters. It was awesome, by the way. If you guys get a chance to see this, it's going to be on DVD soon. Definitely get it. And Mattel was so nice. They actually sent us this, and it's so cute because I like the little poster, which I'm going to cut out and put into one of my play sets. And they gave us tickets, and we got to go, and it was awesome. And Robin got to go, but she's not here with us today because she had to work. <laughs> but she didn't go to the movie, and besides having all this cute paper, I actually got this one, which is awesome because I don't have her yet, so it's perfect. And this is the review we're going to be doing today for Aria Huntington, and she's so cute. She's one of the new characters. And we also got a ton of, if I can get all these out, blind bags, too. Cool. I am excited. I'm going to be opening all of this, I guess, with you guys. So thanks in, again to uh, Mattel for sending us all this stuff. If you guys are not familiar with the new movie, it's basically the rebooting or the revamping of the Monster High story. So it is different from what we know. So I know there's going to be a lot of controversy on that, like some people liking the original story, but again, you have to kind of go into this thinking like it's a new version of this. So it's not like they're redoing the old one, they're just switching it up a little bit. I loved it. I thought it was great. And I don't want to give you guys any spoilers, so I'm not going to give you too much information on it. Besides, it was really, really well done. So this is the doll in the box. As you can see, she does light up. So if you press her chest, she sings her song from the movie, which when I take her out, I'll play the song again so you guys can hear it. And she does come with a stand, which is great because a lot of the new dolls have not been coming with stands. So just in the box alone, I can see that. I love the banner out here and the coloring overall is a lot of purple. So I really like that too. I'm gonna flip it to the back so you guys can see the back of the box. She's available now. I've seen her at Toys R Us for about $24.99. So she has four different modes. You have a warm up, rehearsal, performance, and light show. And then you see her standing on the stand back here with the whole thing laid out. It's really cute. And her parents are ghosts. So it's one of those things that everyone kind of is like, okay, well, Spectra, she's more of like a poltergeist. So it's a little different. So she's not exactly the same as Spectra. Cause I know some people were talking about that online. I like the box art. I think they did a really good job with everything. So I want to open three of the mystery minis, then we'll review the doll and then we'll open three other mystery minis. Cause I can't wait to see what's in there because poor Robin has been buying these like crazy and she's been getting so many repeats. So hopefully I can get some for Robin too. We have, Claudine, which is okay. It's okay. She's, I think, a common. I don't remember on the list right now. It's been a while. Yeah, she's blue. She's just a common Claudine. So, nothing too crazy. We've seen this one a lot online. I'm shooting for the ones that look like little rag dolls. Those are really cute. Or the circus ones are really cute. All right, second one. Ah, basic Frankie. So, these are, like, from what I've seen online, a lot of people get repeats. <laughs> so, one more, and then we'll open the doll. Oh, I don't have this one. Ooh, she's metallic. Okay, so we've got a Laguna. Is she just a regular one or is she a metallic version? So she's a common Laguna, but you can get all of them in variations. So it's a common, but a metallic common. Whatever, it's still a new one. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> That's really cute. All oh, the candy ones are really cute too. <laughs> All right, so we got at least three of those. One that was a little different, so that's actually exciting. So let's open the doll and then we'll open the rest of the mystery minis. Okay, so we got her out of the box and we noticed a few things. The stand is really unique that her feet just stay in it and that's how she stands. That she actually doesn't have like a back part of the stand. So there's pegs that she actually connects to, so a little different. But the reason why she can do it, if you notice on her knees, awesome shoes, uh, her knees actually aren't articulated because you have to think there's lighting going through her body and like wiring and all this other stuff that make her light up. So she's actually really stiff. So her knees don't bend. Her waist doesn't bend. The only thing that bends is her um, elbows and shoulders. Her wrists are not articulated either. So you're really getting this doll more for a display piece because she lights up and sings, not because she's really a play with doll because she really can't move that much. Uh, her outfit is really cute. She does have the outfit that's obviously in the movie. Uh, spinning her around here, you can see that she has a silver bell with like the chains on it. She's very, a very pearlescent skin tone on this one. The regular Aria Hunt Huntington doll, like her basic $15 one, has a little bit more of a skin difference, but because this one lights up, she does have the same color going through. Her hair is a little matted down, of course, you know, some box issues, that's normal. And it's like a very light lavender color. She's still really pretty though. Like she does have a really pretty face shape. I love her little floral chain headband. And then here I'll press the buttons again. 
Is it just doing lights? What are we doing? Yeah. Okay, that's the basic light show, which is the last effect where it only lights up. And then she, if you press her again. That's her warm up. And then she's I think, still rehearsing. I think, I think it has that part where if you like put your, your hand next to it, she'll do one. Oh. Yeah, I remember that from Toy Fair. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. So if you just put her, your finger in front, <laughs> that's so cool. And then if you press it, this is the rehearsal part. So she like practices with the lights. I don't know if you can see it with our, our lighting super bright in here. So that's because so she just plays the music only with partial or practice vocals with light. So it's like only the practice part, part of it. So okay, she does come with a microphone too. No brush or anything, but Again, she's really, really cute. I think she's one of those dolls that once you watch the movie, you'll want her because you want to this for a long time. It plays the whole song. <laughs> Literally the whole song. It's one of those things that you get this doll because you want you want it because you saw the movie type of thing. Not because it's a really like, I don't know how to describe it. That you want to play with it? Like I now that I saw the movie, I really like her character. So let's open up some more of these, shooting for some cool stuff. Oh my gosh, new one. Oh, I don't know which one this then is. Hold on, hold on. She's really cute. Is this Aria? This, is this Aria? That's really cool. Hold on. It's a bass. I don't know which one you are. You have a piano on your shirt. Hold on. I can't figure this one out. I will get this. Chase, what is, what is your thoughts? Uh, oh, yeah. She's a common and she's at the top. Is she Spectra or Ari? I think it's her. I mean, it kind of looks like Ari. I think it's her. I don't know. I'm going to go with that. And she's a common. So, got some new ones, got some new ones. All right. Ooh, oh my gosh, I got Caddy. Oh, is she a commoner? Which one is she? She's so cute. Sorry, Caddy. Robin, I'm getting good ones. I'll give you, I'll give you one of these. <laughs> fantastic find. Oh, is she? Ooh, yeah. that's, that's awesome. She's one of the original ghouls. Oh, that's so cool. We got some good, oh my gosh, Okay, I'm really happy. That was really awesome. Venus is a comment. I don't care. She, I like Venus. <laughs> That's really good. I'm glad I got different ones and stuff. That's awesome because we were getting really discouraged getting a lot of the repeats that we've been buying because these are the bag version of them, which I have not seen in stores, but I know they make the ones with the little coffins that I have somewhere here. Um, those I've seen pop out more. So they're really, really so cute. Oh, I love them. I love them. I'm happy. So. Obviously, the DVD of this movie will be coming out soon. Thank you so much, Mattel, for sending us to see the movie and the doll and the mystery minis because they are so, 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 so cute because I love these minis. Or maybe so that is Spectra. Is it? Because it shows up at the original Ghouls and so, she has the same piano dress. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hmm. Because Mon... I don't know. But Monif has on the original Ghoul list on there, I think, too. Isn't she? I don't know. If you guys well, know yeah, who Monica. she is, let us know because I think she's Monica. I don't think she's Spectra. Mm. I don't know. This is hard. They should have had their names on the list. I'm confused. <laughs> but as always, thanks for watching, you guys, and thank you so much, Mattel, for sending us this. Again, I'm, I had a blast. It was so awesome. <laughs> and comment below what do you guys think about these little mini guys, and then also, are you excited to see the movie? Bye. <laughs>